Welcome back to Two Brothers Comics. I'm Dustin, and I got a book recently that is a huge, huge addition to my collection, and it's probably one of my most prized possessions now. If you're interested in seeing what this is, hit the like button while the intro plays and stay tuned. Now, when I started out collecting comic books, uh, I've told the story multiple times, and you can actually find one of our earliest videos where Nick and I talk about getting into collecting. The first things I started collecting were things like the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger from Boom Studios, Sons of Anarchy from Boom Studios, uh, the Ninja Turtles and the Batman crossovers, things like that. It wasn't until sometime last year, early in the year, I really began to, I don't know, some people... I've been told uh, I began to grow up in my comic collecting. Uh, I started to appreciate things that I didn't recognize before. One of those things being probably my favorite thing I collect now, and that's Captain America comics, specifically Silver Age Captain America by Jack Kirby. It's just some of the most iconic art. Uh, just, just, I mean, I don't know what it is about it, but I just, I love it. I love it. It's just, you know, I, to me, you can't get better than Jack Kirby and Captain America. Uh, it's the best duo in comics, period. I've picked up tons and tons of awesome Cap books and Kirby books over the past year. And I just picked one up that is probably the coolest one out of all of them. Now, the book I'm talking about is Captain America issue 112. This is a Silver Age Captain America comic. Um, now, you might look at this and say, what's so special about that? It's just Captain America 112. It doesn't have anything really key about it. And you would be correct when you think that. Let me tell you a few things about this, though. This was actually the final issue of Captain America Jack Kirby worked on before leaving Marvel to go to DC. Now, he would eventually return back in about five years, and he would actually reprise his role in Captain America in issue 193, where he was writing and doing some of the artwork. Another awesome thing about this, besides it being his last Cap book before leaving, uh, is he actually did the artwork on the cover and the interior in a 24-hour marathon. So he started it and finished it, 24 hours. The cover, all the interior, everything. And that is a pretty, pretty awesome accomplishment when you think about what all would go into getting that amount of work done. Uh, and to do it nonstop for 24 hours just seems insane to me. Um, so these are some things that make this issue really, really cool. But what is it that just makes this the, one of my favorite things in my collection now? The signature on the inside of this book. Now, I'm going to show you a picture of it here and you can see it. Yes, that's right. Right there at the bottom of the first page on the inside of the cover, you see the signature of the King Jack Kirby right there. And that is what really, really sold me on this book and made it something I absolutely had to have. Uh, it was not cheap, and it was just something that popped up in my LCS, and he showed it to me because he knew, he knew he would get me. He said, I know a sucker that'll buy this all day long, and he was right. Uh, we were able to work out some trades and stuff, and I was able to get this, and, and, and really, really uh, a, a deal that I, it's kind of unbelievable. But, uh, you know, back-to-back -back comics is, is an awesome LCS. I love those guys, and uh, they really took care of me on this one. And uh, like I said, I am so, so excited to have this. It's not a really high-grade issue or anything like that. It's just the fact of having something signed by Jack Kirby. This is not a Stan Lee signature where you, you can walk into a Comic-Con or any convention around the United States and throw a rock and hit 11 Stan Lee signed books. Not to discredit a Stan Lee signature at all, but he signed everything. Uh, Jack Kirby signatures are not near as common. Uh, so to me, uh, the fact that I, I love Kirby as much as I do and his work on Captain America and, and as hard as it is to find a Kirby signature on something, uh, everything about this book is just perfect for me. 
Uh, and, and I'm definitely considering because Kirby did pass away before CGC and CBCS and all that came around. Um, I am considering sending this off to CBCS to have it verified and graded there. Uh, Cause like I said, it's, it's, it's a little bit low grade, so it's a little brittle and I just want it to be taken care of and it would be cool to have it verified. So I haven't decided yet because there's still that factor of what if something happened and they couldn't verify it? Um, do I, do I really want to take that chance and break my own heart or do I just want to say, Hey, what I don't know won't hurt me. Um, I, I was told that, um, this is, you know, this is a legit signature that I shouldn't worry about it, but you know, there's always that thought in the back of your head. So we're going to see what happens with that. But again, I just wanted to share this with you guys because it was such a cool thing for me to pick up and I was so excited about it. So uh, let me know in the comments, guys. Do you have anything like this that is just a super cool book? Uh, maybe a signature that is not so prominent in, in conventions and, and easy to find. Uh, I'd love to know if you guys have anything like that as well. Do you have anything signed by Jack Kirby? Uh, let me know in the comments, guys. Always love to hear from you guys. Please hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And make sure if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. 